Hi, welcome back. So we talked last time about the fact that your gut and your brain are connected and that damage to your microbiome can leave you with some combination of IBS, depression, and anxiety. Now let's dive a little deeper and take a closer look at that process. You remember your magical internal ecosystem where all your gut bugs live? Well, it's all powered by something called serotonin. You may be familiar with serotonin as the happy hormone, and it is. Inside your brain, serotonin creates the sensation of calm and happiness. But serotonin actually fills a lot of other important functions around your body as well. Inside your gut, for example, serotonin is responsible for the smooth and painless processing of food through your system. Serotonin is a communication molecule. It enables one neuron in your brain or your gut to speak to the neuron next door. So imagine that happy forest all full of birds. If your neurons are the birds, then serotonin is the bird song. It's the way that one bird communicates with the next bird. So if there's too much bird song, the forest becomes crazy and chaotic. It's too noisy. And the same thing is true inside your system. Too much serotonin means that your neurons are over communicating with one another. In your brain, that over communication will feel like anxiety. And in your gut, the over communication will show up as diarrhea. Everything's just flowing too fast. On the opposite end of the spectrum, too little bird song and the forest becomes dark and silent. In your brain, too little serotonin means your neurons are under communicating with one another. And that is going to feel like depression dark and slow. And in your gut, that translates as constipation. There's just nothing moving. We don't want too much serotonin and we don't want too little serotonin. What we want is the Goldilocks solution. We want the amount of serotonin in our systems to be just right in any given moment. So since serotonin is so important, where does it come from? Well, it's made by some very special cells inside your gut called EC cells. That's short for enterochromaffin cells. You can imagine the EC cells like rare, beautiful nightingales in the forest. They sing the most beautiful songs of all. Only 2% of your gut cells are EC cells, and these cells make 95% of your body's serotonin. They're really important. So a course of antibiotics, a virus, an infection, or a period of stress can damage those precious EC cells, and if they're damaged, they'll no longer be able to do their job properly and produce serotonin. That is disastrous, both for your gut and for your brain because no serotonin means no happiness and no smooth, painless processing of food inside your system. We call that IBS, anxiety, and depression. So what's the answer? How do we repair those EC cells and get them singing inside our system again? Well, the best way to accomplish this is not by taking chemical medications. Serotonin uptake inhibitors only work about 50% of the time. And if you think about your gorgeous natural ecosystem, you can understand why that is. Human beings just aren't smart enough to know exactly how much serotonin needs to be released each millisecond to keep that forest humming with just the right amount of birdsong in any given moment. The better solution is the kefir solution. Kefir supports and boosts the immune system. It actually repairs the damage and restores those EC cells inside your gut so they can begin to produce the right amount of serotonin again. My new book, The Kefir Solution, Natural Healing for IBS, Depression and Anxiety, goes into detail about exactly how you can restore the health of your own inner microbiome and watch all of those painful issues just fade away. We'll explore more ideas, tips, recipes and hacks from The Kefir Solution in upcoming videos, so be sure to follow and subscribe so you won't miss a single one.